I'm going to show you very quickly how to also um, attach the roll feeder. So let's eject the mat. Now, underneath your machine on the bottom, there are two tabs which you can unlock. There's a lock and a lock button. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to free this piece that is right here. When you do that, your roll feeder will then fit into, there's like little slots. It doesn't like officially hook in, but and I'm doing this upside down so it's a little more complicated, but you can see it's now hooked in there, okay? So this is the roll feeder. You will then open it by sliding, popping those two out, and then there's one other piece here. So the roll will come in here, and the material will come in this way and load just the way I showed you with the mat, okay? And then if you have a smaller roll, there's a nine inch position. There's also actually a five and a half uh, inch position as well, okay? All right, so now we are going to, I'm gonna close this up. We are going to, oops, came off of that. I don't think I was supposed to do that, okay. Um, also, I'm just going to point out, this all comes in the box, what you see here, the ES mat, the electrostatic um, uh, mat and base, are also going to hook into the front of the machine without this piece. So it's, depending on if you're planning to use the roll feeder or and or the ES base, you may just want to keep this off. I, I really honestly, I'm not sure, like this is going to, I know myself, it's going to get lost, okay? So I'm probably just going to leave it off. 